Welcome to Vertex. At these labs, we confront big problems by going super tiny, making small changes that result in big outcomes. Hi, I'm Ginger Birnbaum. I'm a CF patient advocate and I'm a CF mom. I'm so glad that you're here today. Thanks, Ginger. To date, only a small percentage of the CF community have visited our labs. So we created this virtual tour, a way for everyone to meet the people of Vertex. First, you're gonna need this coat. Hope it fits. First stop, chemistry. Here, we work with tiny molecular structures. Hi there, I'm Yoshi. Welcome to the chemistry lab. I'm a medicinal chemist here. And in medicinal chemistry, we do chemistry for the goal of creating medicines. We take small building blocks such as these and we bring them together to make larger molecules. We have to make hundreds and thousands of these to create medicines. Time to get the molecular combinations from Yoshi and his team to archive management, where they're stored and prepared for testing. Testing molecules like these allow us to identify the right compounds to address damaged proteins that cause diseases like cystic fibrosis. With so many compounds, and we have millions, it's a challenge to store and manage each one of these. Don't be shy. Take a look. We take these compounds, store them in this system, and ship it out for experiments that scientists are performing all across the world. We're like a library or a mailroom, but with way cooler tech. To speed up the search for the right compounds, we need to put as many samples as we can onto each of these plates. Hey, how are you? So you've seen where the compounds are stored. Now you can see this acoustic work cell where they're actually distributed to the scientist. The system works by focusing an acoustic sound wave at the bottom of the plate, which causes a droplet to eject from the surface, and then a plate is held upside down over it, which catches the droplet. Thanks, Joe. Now it's time to test each compound on human tissue. Hi, I'm Taylor, and this is our human cell lab. This is where we grow all of our human cells in large scale for production. So this includes the human bronchoepithelial cells, or the HBEs, which we mostly get from CF patient donations. These important cell donations are critical to our research. So we'll take care of these cells every single day for a period of five weeks before we're ready to test our compounds on them. At that point, we'll hand them over to other scientists to test these compounds and see how well they're working. Come on, let's go see what else we can find around here. Sure, let's show our visitors the IR&D lab. Hi, welcome to IR&D. This is where a lot of the magic happens at Vertex. What happens when we need a research tool that we don't have? We invent it. We make a lot of uh, custom instruments. Um, over here we have a uh, 3D printer we use for uh, rapid prototyping. Uh, we also build our own electronics boards here. Um, here on the walls, a lot of our uh, patents that we've done over the years. Um, so you can see here at Vertex, we uh, think big, but not only that, we also go big. So why don't I show you where we do that next? Javier is right. When it comes time for clinical trials, we really need to go big. Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to the Kilo Labs. The Kilo Lab is where we take compounds from milligram scale to kilogram scale. Using equipment such as this one right here. Kind of like cooking for 100 people. Our synthesis takes us to this type of compound. We send it out around the world for testing for the next step in our drug development process. So glad you could join our tour. As you can see, it takes a village to make big things happen here. But none of this would be possible without you, the CF community.